all right guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be doing a tier list for albums that have came out so far in 2024 um so i'm going to keep it try and do some of the more popular albums and then also maybe throw in a couple more um low-key ones that i've been listening to but i've done a tier list for the actual albums themselves this is strictly for the cover arts um the music behind the album um does not matter whatsoever for this but anyways we'll start off with Vultures 1 by Kanye West and um, I gotta say it's not great considering I mean it isn't very special regardless but then you consider that it's a collab album with him and Ty Dolla Sign and Ty Dolla Sign isn't even on the cover it's him and his wife um, so I mean it's not great um, so I think I would have to go maybe like C or D tier I think I'm gonna give it to D tier um, just because it's honestly nothing crazy and Ty Dolla Sign doesn't even get to be on the album cover. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next one, we have um, 21 Savage's American Dream. I think, this, or I think this is pretty good. It's nothing like mind-blowing, but I think it's pretty good. I could give it a B tier. And next up, we have Yeats 2093. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Again, nothing crazy, probably give it a B tier. Um, I don't think it's quite A tier, but yeah, B tier um, feels like a right spot for it. Then we got Insano by Kid Cudi, and honestly, for the album, you know, Insano, the cover kind of fits. It's just like a bunch of colors. It's like kind of crazy and out there. And so I think it kind of works um for the album although i don't know when i look at that i don't know it doesn't really make me want to listen to the album so i think i'm gonna give it a c tier and moving on we have one of the worst ones of the year genre sad boy by trippy red and mgk and um this is just a straight f tier i'm gonna save your time on that one it is absolutely terrible and i think everyone can agree on that it's just like <laughs> why are they why do they look like like why does trippy red look like a fanboy like my god but <clears throat> moving on though we have j cole's might delete later and i think it's just very simple it's obviously just a mixtape just kind of a simple cover um so for that reason i'll give it a d tier but um i'm sure the fall off would have a better cover than this uh we then have first i'll start with futures um we don't trust you um, I think this one was pretty good. It's nothing crazy, probably B tier. But then the uh, the second one, we still don't trust you. I feel like I like it a little bit less, but it's still not bad. And I would probably go C tier with it. And then we have um, here Bryson Tiller's self-titled album. Um, I don't know. It's okay. Maybe I'm missing something. I'm not sure what like the um, I'm not sure what language that is, but I'm not sure what the letters are there or like if that has a meaning or whatnot. I've, I don't know if it does, I guess, catch me up on that in the comments, but I think it's just okay. Probably a C tier, um, in my opinion. Um, and then we have Schoolboy Q's album, Blue Lips, and I liked it. It's kind of weird, you know, it's kind of out there, you know, you got zoomed in on this gap of a smile and i don't know i thought it was pretty good though i saw a lot of people hating on it and i would probably give it b tier um the next album is the last dinner party um with prelude to ecstasy and i really like it i think when i look at this album the music behind it like it feels right and it just feels nice when i i'm listening to the music and i see that cover you know it just feels right and for that reason i'm gonna give it an a because it's pretty good and it fits the music um perfect next we have mgmt's album loss of life um music wise this is one of my favorite albums of the year um and cover it wise it's kind of simple but again i think it fits the music and i like it that for that so i'm gonna give it an a tier uh then we have Quadeca's scrapyard which um, for this one, again, music wise, one of my favorites of the year. And I think the cover art matches it quite well. Um, the sound of the album 
or the mixtape is captured pretty well with this cover art and again i'm thinking probably an a tier for that and then we have ariana grande's album um eternal sunshine and i don't know it it's just pretty simple it's nothing crazy um probably give it a c tier um then beyonce's album cowboy carter um again i think it's pretty good it does match the album pretty well the album isn't necessarily like a full-on country album like we originally thought it would be um but i think the cover is still pretty good and i think i'm gonna go a tier with it um and the final album i'm going to be doing today for this video is um micah's laundry by matt matt champion which by the way if you have not heard this album definitely go listen to it it's um if you don't know matt champion is one of the members of brock hampton this is his first album um uh solo album i guess i should say and it's really good and like i really liked it it's been one of my favorites of the year um but yeah and the cover i think it's pretty good i definitely like it and i'm leaning between like a and b tier probably give it a tier but like a lower scale um of a tier but anyway yeah that is all i got for this so if you want to see some more um albums put in the next part let me know in the comments and uh leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one